at the moment around the world, we're seeing um, crude, crude, crude oil prices dropping. And um, those in the know understand that OPEC have been commanded by America to do so. The Saudis, the Qatars, and those people, the very wealthy individuals around the Middle East, have, um, have made a lot of money from oil, as we know. And, every, and almost 80%, if not 90% of the GDP is, is based on oil. And yes, um, America, I, well, Obama, advised them to, to carry on with the same production. And this, in turn, dropped the oil prices. It was interesting because in, the, in stock markets around the world, um, uh, in the NYMEX exchange, which they, they deal in oil trades, um, they were stating that oil would hit probably $150 US a barrel. And yes, a lot, a lot of people have, have come, come to the understanding that this was done to hurt Russia, whose GDP, 45% of it, is based on oil sales, right? That was part of it. And yes, they did want to hurt Iran too, whose economy, 70% of their GDP is um, gas and oil sales, predominantly gas. Um, but there was mo there's more to this, people, okay? Um, what's going on is there's been a lot of solar panels, a lot of um, new technology, alternative energy that's been coming out, whether it be in the, in the form of wind turbine, wave, um, wave energy, uh, uh, steam energy, or, or even the other one, which is solar panels, okay? Now, they had an opportunity as oil price was increasing that um, they were viable. Well, guess what? The Saudis thought to themselves, listen to this, you're going to love this. The Saudis thought to themselves, you know what? We've probably got enough oil on the ground maybe for another 100, 150 years. That's, that's you know, the last estimates that have been said. Why don't we extend that power that we have and stop alternative energy from coming onto the market? Let's drop the price of crude. So when Obama rang him up and said, hey, um, you know, we, we need to block Russia and hurt Iran and, um, and uh, keep production going at the same levels, they didn't cut production, well, they, they thought to themselves, good move. So if they, if they, don't be surprised if you see oil prices at the pump, gas prices at the pump when you go to fill up your car, they'll be cheap probably for the next five years. Um, in actual fact, I probably wouldn't be surprised if we don't see $100 a barrel crude oil price sales in US dollars for another um, maybe seven, eight, maybe even 10 years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, 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 a, it's a big ask. But um, rest assured, my, the, the main reason why this was done was to de destroy any, any alternative energy coming out into the market. And there was another point too. There was the shale oil projects that have been going around i.e. in Canada and, and other, other nations around the world. I think UK's got a, a bit going on there with fracking and so forth. Um, and what they've found is their cutoff period for profit is around about $37, $40 a barrel. Um, so if, if oil gets to around about $45, $50 um, US a, a barrel, uh, a, lot of those thing, a lot of those shale industries will be out of business. Think about it. Thank you.